your truck. What? Is the camera on? No. Hey, Sparky friends. Uh, welcome to a devotion time with me, Mr. Rich, and uh, I hope you're doing well. And uh, we're going to talk about change today. And we've seen a lot of change, haven't we? We've seen some schools close and our uh, church gatherings uh, stop for a while. And so we're going to talk about change and how change, although can be scary and make you worry of what's going to happen, it can also be a time of excitement and fun. So a verse we're going to talk about today is Matthew 6, 31 through 34. And I'm going to read it to you real quick. So don't worry about these things, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. So as we spend this time apart... Um, we still want to make sure you're doing well and let you know that you're loved and we miss you. Jesus makes two very clear distinctions during this time. Jesus clearly understands our worry during this time of change and new beginnings. He starts with the essentials of life in this verse, food and drink, and then goes into the elements in which that protect us, like clothing. Whenever we start a new beginning, we want to know that everything's going to be okay. We want to know that whatever change comes... Everything will be just fine. Jesus understands that feeling. You've been through change, whether when you were a puggle or became a cubby in the sparks. You've had new change. You've changed schools. You've seen different friends and made new friends. All this sort of change is nothing to be worried about. It can be a very exciting and amazing time of growth. Secondly, Jesus goes on and basically asks us a very critical question. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? In other words, there's more to life than just these things that we need to survive. Our relationship with Christ and getting to know Him and God through the Word, through Scripture, by memorizing our verses, reading our Bibles, and doing daily devotions. These are so important to our everyday walk with Christ. So like Jesus tells us in this verse, there's no need to worry. There's enough worry down the road, and change is not something to be worried about. This time of new beginnings is the way we should look at it. A time to do something new, do something different. We don't have to be worried. We can be excited. So let me ask you this. What has been your favorite thing that's happened so far in the last week with this new change, these new beginnings of a change how you do school and how we do church? Uh, leave a comment. After you finish watching the video, let me know what has been your favorite thing this last week. Don't forget to use this time that we're apart to still work on your verses. You can still complete your verses and get credit for all of them. And all you have to do is, as you complete a section, have your parents send an email letting us know at rfbcsparks at gmail.com. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. But keep doing your verses. Just because we're apart doesn't mean we have to stop doing our verses. There are many different ways and fun ways that we can do our verses. I'm going to give you just a few examples. You can come outside and study your Sparks verses with a nice drink. <coughs> Whoa, it's hot! Or maybe you can read your verses while sitting on the couch. Or you can study under a tree. Or you can read verses to your dog. Matthew 19, 14. You can study while on a trampoline. Or under a trampoline with a dog. Or maybe study your scriptures while jumping on the trampoline with brothers or sisters. <laughs> or maybe not. Or just jump on a trampoline. <laughs> or while swinging on a swing. Luke 19.10, for the Son of Man has come to seek and save that was lost. I love that verse. You can even study your verses while in a tent, being really quiet that nobody finds you. I don't know if I'll be able to get out of here. Or study while in a tree. 
Maybe not. Or while riding a bike. Just remember Sparky friends, no matter where you decide to do your verses, keep doing your verses, stay in God's word. It'll make your mind sharper and you'll be able to memorize so much scripture. So with our time apart, remember change isn't all that bad. It can actually be pretty fun. Well, that's our time for this week, Sparky friends. Just remember to get your parents permission, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell right next to it and like these videos. The notification bell will notify you every time we post a new video. <sighs> it's still hot. <laughs>